The news came as a shock to our community. Jerry had a very popular YouTube channel, BIOS 3 Training, for many, many years, probably over 10 years. He's always done very, very educational, to the point, opinionated videos that people really enjoyed. I enjoyed having friendship with Jerry. He was on RX Muscle. I was on his channel. I interviewed him. You can go back and watch that interview. It was a great interview. He talks about his whole life and how he got involved with bodybuilding. And he was at the Masters Nationals, Masters Collegiate Team Nationals this past weekend. Actually, the whole week because it was a whole week of programming. And he was doing the live stream with my other good friend, Rich Siegelman, who I didn't even realize that the two of them are really, really tight friends. They have been for the last 15 years. Jerry moved down to, uh, I guess, uh, came down to Maryland, where Rich is from, and helped Rich when he turned pro. He also, um, I know Rich helped him when he competed, and they've been just friends for years, and they were doing the live stream together. And so I called Rich up, and I said, you know, when I heard the news that Gary Uden had reported, I said, Rich, what, what happened? And evidently, I guess Jerry has been doing the live stream all week with Rich, and he had been complaining that he thinks he had pulled a rib a left, his left rib he had pulled because he had brought a lot of luggage because they were going to be there all week and it was just bothering him. And I know he had a massage yesterday on it, uh, like a chair massage, and it didn't feel, it felt worse after that. And he'd just been complaining, complaining uh, to, to Rich. And Rich is like, you know, why don't you go get checked out? And he's like, no, no, I think I'm just really tired. I'm just going to go to sleep. This was last night. And Jerry went back to his hotel room and went to sleep. And then this morning when Rich had to do, you know, Sunday's festivities on the live stream, he... Jerry hadn't shown up and Rich texting him and no response and you know that's Jerry is like you know if I have a job I do it you know he's not the kind of guy that's gonna be late or skip out or not give an excuse so Rich you know told Gary Udit who is the promoter of the show Gary I don't, I don't know where Jerry is you know I'm a little concerned because you know he, he's that's not like him so Gary went up to Rich's room excuse me Gary went up to Jerry's room and then I guess you know 20 minutes later came back and said, Rich, um, he's gone. And I wasn't a regular viewer of Jerry Ward's videos, but just the other day he made a nice video on intermittent fasting and I left a comment. The same little mini fact I post whenever I see a relevant video. He looked very healthy and fit, and I'm absolutely shocked that he has now passed on. I give my condolences to his family, to his friends, and to every one of his viewers. The biggest contributor to heart disease is high blood pressure, and bodybuilders are known to be addicted to two things which have a terrible effect on blood pressure, PEDs and carbohydrates. I believe carbohydrates, more than anything, are responsible for the ever-increasing amount of heart attacks that society is experiencing today. Though I'm sure vegetable oils are not helping anything. And for bodybuilders, the PEDs can cause massive problems, especially when they use a very large amount of them. Thankfully, fasting relieves high blood pressure very quickly. That's actually how I got into fasting. I had high blood pressure that was uncontrolled, and the prescriptions my doctor gave me were just not doing anything. My blood pressure was around 180 over 105, even while I was taking three blood pressure medications. I was also trying to lose weight and going nowhere, topping out at over 320 pounds. Little did I know that some of the medications I was taking made weight loss very difficult and could lead to diabetes. This probably made my blood pressure even worse in the long run and helped bring me to where I was at that point, which was 320 pounds plus cripplingly high blood pressure where I felt like I was going to drop dead any minute. And I probably would have dropped dead any minute, just like Jerry Ward. I was probably just, who knows how long, days, weeks, months from just dying. I was headed for an early grave and only something radical could save me. So I threw out my pills and tried my first fast, and I made it for 48 hours. It was absolutely miserable, 10 times worse than any fast since then. I was sweating and even shaking a little at the end. But the scale did go down several pounds. The next weekend I fasted for 72 hours. This time it was actually easier than the first time. Though I was still hungry. I also lost a few more pounds. But not a ton of weight because some of the water weight had come back. 
that I'd lost the first time, so it's really only losing an actual pound or two per week. I did this for a month before I worked up the courage to check my blood pressure. I didn't really expect it to be better at all because it hadn't been that much time. I was really puzzled because my nurse who was doing the measuring for me was retaking it. And she did it maybe three or four times and was giving me a funny look. To my surprise and her surprise, because she knew my blood pressure because it was kept in a log, my blood pressure was now 120 over 80. And, you know, that's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close for someone of my age and considering where I had just come from. And in a few more weeks, it was down to 120 over 70, and then I just stopped measuring it at all because I realized I now knew how to get control of my blood pressure, and it was really all about insulin, and it was all about diet. So nowadays, if I feel lousy for any reason, I just fast. If I get sick, I fast, and it immediately goes away. Though so far, this has only happened with that famous sniffle that we all know about. If I had gotten it when I was in the shape I was in before, it probably would have killed me. And I really believe that fasting saved my life, not only from the high blood pressure, which I would have gone like Jerry Ward by now, I'm sure, but it also saved me from that thing that I'm not going to name. You know what it is, though. So now I had it, I've actually had it two times. It's the only sickness I've had since I started fasting. And both times it was over in a snap, like just two days. No big deal at all. Fasting has saved my life, and I sincerely believe it can save the lives of millions of others. That's why I tell people about it, and that's why I make these videos. And I hope that some of the people who are bodybuilding will keep this in mind and check their blood pressure. That's the most important thing. And they'll cut down their carbs a little bit, which they're really not needed for bodybuilding. And most of all, start fasting. I think that you'll improve dramatically if you do just a few 72-hour fasts once in a while. It's going to have a huge effect on your health. Have a blessed day.